We ain't done one in a while. Again. Gotta watch that crazy dude with his wood. He's gonna take us out. So, uh, two minute Tuesday. Let's throw two minutes on the clock. Let's talk about the chambers. The Chambers Deliminator. It's a box of steel with two big rotating drums with 44 chains per drum, 88 chains total inside the machine, rotating in a circle. One's pulling to the front, one's pulling to the back. It's powered by a 6.8 liter John Deere engine. Has about 220 horsepower. It is a non-def machine, non-emissions engine. It is, a, it is an old machine, it is a tier two. There is almost zero electronics on that thing. The only thing electronic on it is the electronic uh, sensors for the oil pressure and the idle up and down. Other than that, everything else is still all registered manually. It's used for bad timber, whether it's small in diameter or bushy. It also helps remove the trash from the wood. You can watch it be pulled through the, watch whenever he pulls, pulls it through sometimes it don't have that many limbs left on it this stuff here is not having that much limbs left but you can watch it he'll shove it back up inside the box as far as he can get it in there and it will uh, chew the bushes off of it as well it's a multi-purpose machine basically we only use it when the, t the timber gets bad it does increase production it is way faster than a pull through it is a loader man's best friend if set up correctly if set up wrong it will work a loader man harder than a pull through will it creates lots of slash to use out in the woods building mats that right there is why i hate working this little bitty mess it will scatter but it's a really good machine it's a uh, that is an older style, it's still the, the pull tag style. We have another style that is mounted on a trailer and the skitter pulls it around. It can be pulled uh, with a truck as well. This one here could be pulled with a truck if I had a pendulum hitch on the back of my trucks, but we just load it up on the low boy as y'all have seen numerous times with the skitter. It's very basic, very simple, just a big old box of iron. You can see the big wheels on the inside that has the big belt that drives it around. It's, a bit, like I said, it's super, super simple, but a very, very, very vital piece of machinery to have if you have to go to work in this small timber like what we do when it gets wet. Anyway, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. And uh, hopefully we stayed under two minutes there. Y'all hang out. I'm sure I'm going to add something behind this.
all there is I'm, what I'm doing is I'm building my access. Y'all you know, can see that was the access and uh, down rows are kind of right over yonder. You can see that daylight. Anyway, so I was building my access. I didn't quite get the camera moved up far enough. What I wanted to do was I thought I had the camera far enough ahead where I could cut right up to y'all and then show y'all how I turn in, how how you kind of see how the, the cutter goes beside the camera for a second on the left and then on the right. What I was doing, I was starting to start my, my down row, but I'm not quite far enough uh, away from y'all with the camera to, to, to trust these little flimsy trees of snapping out and killing my GoPro. Uh, I, what I do is I cut the access up like what y'all saw and then I take the, the first head pull off of this row and towed it back and then the first head pull off of this row and towed it back and then that keeps uh, my skitter on a good a good map and he's not having to really build a whole bunch of stuff. He may have to drop you know six, eight, ten pieces here and there but for the most part he has everything pre-built ahead of him. That's the great thing of having the rubber tire helping, being able to help in this ground. Um, can't really see it here, but the ground is a little, a little mushy. It's not bad. Um, today's the first day back after the rain that we had. That would have been this past Friday. We didn't work Friday, Saturday. Of course, we don't work Sundays. And uh, looks like I got kind of close because something nicked my mic, my little windscreen on it. <laughs> So, anyway, today's the first day back since all that. We got an inch and a quarter of rain. Um, the ground is still doing amazing. They're supposed to be bringing some rock for the road. Uh, I'm still working the, the bottom side of my, my hill here. I'm saving a ridge up there. We're supposed to get rain again uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning for sure. Wednesday, Wednesday night, and early Thursday morning. Um, I'm trying to set us up. They're going to have to come shoot me to get me off this road Wednesday. We're probably going to work in the rain. So, uh, as long as that ground keeps holding up like it's doing, we're going to probably work Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, we may just have to haul what we piled up. But anyway, that's here and there and yonder and planning way too ahead in the future. That's one thing in the winter time. You just kind of take this mess day by day. You don't really try and um, you don't you don't really try and, and, and plan weeks in advance. You just don't do that here. Um, so anyway, we did get some good news this morning from my Forester. So the future looks great. So um, we're just plugging along. Typical end of the year type thing, trying to make it to the first of the year. Just how cutting company wood is. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed that right there. Yeah. I'm gonna find something else for y'all to watch. But y'all should have also seen before this, before the cutter, you should have saw a two-minute Tuesday segment with the Chambers Dilemma. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Uh a little short but sweet, just like two-minute Tuesday is supposed to be. So anyway, y'all hang tight. I'll be back. <laughs>